right, so we're out at the woods. Um, we're gonna be working in the building or whatever, but uh, this video is just gonna be about storm damage basically that uh, we got out here. So there was a storm that moved through and really at the house we didn't have anything, maybe a few smaller branches come down. But I, uh, I follow a Facebook group out here so I kind of know what's going on and they said there was a lot of storm damage. So take a look here. So there's this here, which isn't really that big of a deal. Uh, top of a pine snapped off and came down, came down this way and that's actually off of uh, the one here that's right next to the shipping container. So at some point we can uh, we can drop that now because there's no reason to leave that. And I thought we'd be okay because we have taken down quite a bit, but I don't know. It must have been just kind of the way the the storm moved through. So we got some stuff here, and then there's uh, I don't know if you can see it or not over in there. We can take a walk. There's an oak that's uh, kind of snapped. That one looks like it's under some pretty good tension. So that'll make for a uh, fun removal so when we came out here i grabbed the chainsaw and the stick saw just in case we had anything to clean up i'm probably not going to do anything with this this stuff will just get like some branches and stuff moved out so that one there that looks like that might be a little bit of a challenge to get that one down and that's all all hung up there so we'll take a, a trip out to the road too. It's obvious that the power lines were down here because there was a couple trees up by the neighbors that were right down. And then our, uh, our lights here that we got, they're hanging way down. So I'm not sure if it got caught by this dried up pine here that was rotted off, if that came down or if the, the tree it's tied off to, if that moved enough where, uh, it's leaning this way maybe but luckily nothing fell on the shed so that was uh that was the biggest thing we were worried that maybe something would have fell on the shed and i'm sure there's stuff in the woods that's down but i don't know that we're going to spend any time looking for that today we get enough uh, other things to do
right, so we tried some different things with the camera here. Uh, you may or may not have seen some of the storm damage. We definitely got trees down a couple different locations or whatever. Um, I didn't go through the woods, but I over on the south end, there's one uh, directly behind us to the west. There's one to the north. There was a few. So I'll show you what we got done in here today. So only got five two by sixes because it's going to bring that eight footer across and then that's a 10. So I knew that was going to take a little bit to get those two up. So I only got five, five to hang and we ran out of brackets, uh, hangers. Luckily there's a, a Ace Hardware locally that had them. So we picked up a couple just to finish this off. So the next time we come out here, which is going to be a while, um, we'll get another 10 and I think 10 gets us right around, it's one of these two here, I think. So we'd have all of these. So we only need uh, two hangers on this side. And then we got those curling holders to take us the rest of the way and then these here. So it's coming along, not too bad. Um, also didn't put a ton of time on it today because I kind of went through and cut all the grass. Um, I, I took some video of that, but I don't know how well it turned out. So now that it's it's rained here a couple times, they're starting to get some grass to pop up. So I have to work on kind of landscaping this or figuring out what we're going to do. You can see that the sand next to the building there is coming down. The other thing I didn't mention before, when we got out of the truck, it just reeked like fresh cut oak, something terrible. You can just smell it on this side. It's gotta be this giant oak tree over here that's got this split. Like this one here, I am not sure, oops, how this one's gonna come down. I'm not sure that I'm going to even tackle that because that just looks like there is a ton, ton of uh, pressure on that. So I may just leave that. Um, the unfortunate part is it's right, right by my log pile. I only got another one down there too that went. Um, you know, the other thing we could try is maybe if we could get a, a rope thrown around the top, we could try cabling it off with the winch and pulling that. but. That's not going to be so much summer work. That's going to be more winter work when it's not so hot and get some of that cleaned up. So, and then I also got our lights strung back up, pulled them taut. So I'm thinking what probably happened was because of the wind, that tree was probably whipping back and forth. And when it pulled, it probably stretched out the, the wire. So that's probably what happened, why it was sagging so bad. So I don't know, we could stick a, a spring on the end there, just so that if it would do that, the spring would take up some of that drag. This one here we should pull out. That doesn't look the greatest, that small pine, that one there. Get that out of there, but you can kind of see, it's just never ending with these trees here. Then there was a popple that was all rotted up in front. That as well as got, was knocked down. Here's that popple I'm talking about. So it, this split opened up right up in here. You got all sorts of rot, all sorts of rot in there. So every time you get these wind storms out here, that's, you end up with a ton of trees down. So, I don't know, maybe next time, if I got some time, we'll kind of clean up the trail a little bit just so I can get through and go through with the four wheeler to see what we got, to see how bad it really is. It's unfortunate because it's just a lot more work and a lot more wood I don't really need for anything. The pine in front that broke off, that's fine. We can drop that and the brother-in-law will take that to make that into boards, so. That was one we thought about dropping, so that's fine. That one we can do no big deal. So, but we're wrapping it up. I think we're all done for today. We got enough stuff done. We got all the debris that was out in the, like the right of way, we pushed that all into the woods. So that's off to the side, but there's just, there's stuff all over.
so it'll be a little bit to get this cleaned up but it looks like we should be in pretty good shape that we shouldn't have any issues with stuff falling on the uh on the building so other than that that is going to be it for now